All right, so reports are starting to gain steam about DeAndre Hopkins uh, signing with the New England Patriots. Of course, Bill O'Brien was brought in as the offensive coordinator, his former head coach with the Houston Texans. And, of course, the Texans is where Hopkins solidified himself as one of the top uh, wide receivers in football. Uh, clear wide receiver one in fantasy football. And, you know, originally the thought was he was going to be going to Cleveland. There was a lot of uh, conjecture about that, which I had talked about here on the channel. But now the recent rumors are, after visiting Tennessee as well, Hopkins is going to sign with New England and be the number one wide receiver uh, for uh, quarterback Mac Jones. Now, guys, before I get into this even more, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button if you haven't done so already. Um, a lot of good stuff coming up over the next couple of weeks, so make sure you're uh, you're tuned to the channel. Uh, definitely going to be a live stream this weekend. I don't know if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday, so make sure that notification bell is hit. Now, again, uh, as far as DeAndre Hopkins is concerned, I've been over this a million times. Um, he showed flashes, once again, a wide receiver one ability uh, the first half, uh, or rather when he came back initially from the six-game suspension last season um, while Colin Murray was that quarterback for Arizona. But then when Murray got injured, things really went off the rails to the point where Hopkins wasn't even really worth starting by the end of the season. Uh, but the ability is still there. And with New England, he would be the clear number one guy. But that all being said, I'm going to fade Hopkins this season uh, if he goes to New England. I would be more interested if he would have signed uh, you know, with the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously. But with New England, I hate that offense. Uh, I'm not a fan of Mac Jones by any means. And th there's just no dy dynamic ability for Jones. He, you know, he's an accurate guy in the short and intermediate range, but Hopkins is going to have his big playability neutered in this offense, and uh, I'm just not chasing anybody, uh, you know, in the New England offense this season outside of running back for Madre Stevenson. That's the only person I'm interested in this offense. Um, so Hopkins, even though he would be the number one guy uh, and could get on volume alone wide receiver two numbers. Uh, his days as a wide receiver one are over in New England. And uh, again, with his age, he's over 30, uh, much more chance of getting injured, soft tissue injuries. I just, I'm, I'm done. I'm really just done with him. So, and I think you should be as well. Uh, you always want to be out a year early than a year too late when it comes to guys like this, uh, where the name brand starts to outstrip the actual mode of production that we're seeing. So, and that's where Hopkins is in my opinion. All right, guys, more videos on the way. Stay tuned.